Hello, this is Nick here from Gorgon Reviews. I am talking with Ryan Donahue and Rob Racco, both actors of the upcoming film Art of a Hit. The story is about a rock band from the 90s reconnecting, trying to make a new album with some amazing hits to achieve the success they had always hoped for. They just have to go to a French castle with a legendary producer to see if they have it in them and battle some demons, maybe literal. Thank you so much for spending time here today. Hey, thank you. Uh, start uh, starting with both of you. I need to know the first movie you remember seeing in theaters. Huh. I think Twisters. Oh, Twist Twister Twister <laughs> the the first one. Not not okay. not the not, not the one that came out a couple. Bill weeks Paxton, ago. baby. Bill Paxton. I was I do remember this. I was in a. Uh, a drive-in movie theater and the tornadoes were happening and I buckled my seatbelt. I was like five. And I'm like, oh my God. So that was, that's my first experience at a movie theater. I actually don't remember. I mean, it's probably some, it was probably like, you know, Star Wars or Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, you know, like some old, maybe, you know. I don't know. We didn't go to a lot of movie theaters. I had a bunch of VHSs and I lived in the middle of the woods for a long time. So, uh, I don't, yeah, I don't know. It's actually funny that I watched Twisters two nights ago at a drive-in, you know, the actual one that just came out yeah. for the yeah. same reason. I was like, I want to go to see it at a drive-in. Let me get that, that nature feel. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's good. It's good. Have um, you seen the one route? Yeah, I did. I went to open at nine. Very good. Fun oh, movies, man. Fun movies. Uh, did you see it? I haven't seen that one. I had the the old one, of course. You know, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, of course, man. Bill Paxton, baby. Helen Hunt, good movie. Right. Right. Wasn't uh, <laughs> Philip Seymour in that one? Too? Philip Seymour Hoffman, man. Oh. Big role. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Let's just talk about movies. Yeah, you know Let's what? Talk our, about movie, Twister. our movie's good. <laughs> Go see our movie, but Twister one. <laughs> Talk about <laughs> it uh, is one of the many movies that Bill Paxton has played a guy named Bill. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, which this movie also likes to <laughs> honor in that way. Ryan playing a character named Ryan, at least. That's right. Well, and Charlie plays Charlie, and Tim plays Timmy. Yeah, here's the thing: you give a bunch of uh, musicians acting jobs. And we're good at memorizing memorizing lines, but names is not in the plan. So I, you know, that's Ryan to me. That's Charlie to me. That's Tim to me. That's Dave. Yeah. We're not changing that. Right? Yeah. I mean, he was Miles in the film, but we were actually shooting a scene, and I called him Rob, and we had to cut the whole thing and redo it. And that's a true yeah. story. Like I had gotten like I got like halfway through this monologue, and then I'm like. And Rob on base. I'm like, that's not his name in the film. I just yeah. got back on the plane and left. I'm like, this is the most unprofessional <laughs> movie. <laughs> no, it was uh, it was very fun to do that, to be honest. I'm glad you brought it up because I wanted to know what your actual musical background was because the singing and playing was done by a different band. Now I lost the name. Um, that's to Brazil. Yes, just to Brazil. Um, so how much did you already have knowledge of singing or playing instruments? Did you have to do training to make it look realistic? I took some guitar lessons. I mean, I have noodled on guitar. I have actually played a guitarist in another film, uh, but I took some guitar lessons to specifically learn these pieces. Um, and we re-recorded everything. So those are my vocals. They're not, uh, and the, we recorded all the all the music as well. So the guy who taught me uh, or gave me guitar lessons actually ended up recording a bunch of uh, the guitars for it. Uh, Tim Joe, who plays guitar in the film, also recorded a bunch of guitars for it. I think Charlie, who plays uh, the producer, um, recorded the bass parts, I think I want to say, and actually did some of the backing vocals uh, and stuff. So yeah, we re-recorded re it all. It is us playing. Combined, you both have already acted in dozens of projects at this point, from shorts to shows, music videos, and movies. So what's your favorite type of project to act in so far? Mm, that's I mean, they're all they're all very different. Um, I will say from my side, when you can jump into something, no matter how big or small, and it feels like family and it doesn't feel like a job, that's when you've won the jackpot. And this movie in particular was that is you know, you fly to France, you meet a great group of people, 
And, you know, I came in three and a half weeks after initial camera uh, started and, uh, you know, to be sworn into this and have family dinner and feel like you've known these people for years, um, which they had already and be like, oh, my God, I don't feel like I'm at work. This this is great. That's the, you know, when you hear actors talk about like, oh, we were nine months on something and it felt like a job, you know, I'm like, I get it. That's a paycheck. But when you get it, it could be the same at no matter what um, hierarchy and be like, I, this, this is my family. And then you have to say goodbye, <laughs> you know, and it's it sucks. So this this was one of the most fun projects I've, I've gotten to do. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to have to agree with that. I think, uh, you know, there's there's certain projects that you just find creativity in naturally with this family that you create right and uh and this was one of those you we really played with the dialogue we we came up with shots on the fly i know uh joe simon the director of photography i ended up basically staying with him a bunch we ended up having a a, a couple of the Air, airbnbs together and uh and he was just down for anything there was shots that we stole that like I remember we were trying to get this this uh, sunset shot and uh, we were all eating dinner and uh, <clears throat> this girl, Leah, who she worked, she did a bunch of things on the film. She ran up, she just goes, sunset. And we were like, sunset. So we all just dropped what we were doing. I like went and grabbed my big coat and like smeared some blood on my face. And then Joe just ran and grabbed the camera and we all just like rushed and like stole this shot in the middle of dinner because sunset right like uh and we did a bunch of that like i you know the day i remember the day we were leaving the castle i wanted to get this drone shot and i was like i kept talking about this drone shot which i don't even think it made it in the film but right before we're leaving everybody's packing up or whatever and uh and joe just walks up to me he's like i got the drone and i was like okay i like open my bag i grabbed the jacket we ran out to this field i'm laying down i do the same thing smear a little blood you know try to get the same shot and yeah so just that kind of stuff of just like guerrilla filming just stealing shots getting as much done as you possibly can being as creative as you possibly can with these people and coming up with you know new things on the fly some of which that work some of which that don't that's like that's my favorite part of filmmaking um rob you had brought it up that you had to show up much later because well you're not in this movie as much as any other character that is in the movie yeah. i would say Thank um you. how much did you keep of yourself in that character mindset when you weren't around as much? How did you really join into the cast and feel like you were an ex member of the band and playing this part? Um, well, you know, my character being from a different time era in this in the 1996 chapter of this, um, I, I, to, to stay in that, like, I mean, some of my heroes came from that era. So, you know, like being immersed in the clothing and, uh, and, you know, we, the facial hair with the sideburns and this messy attitude and necklaces. I just kind of showed up like that all the time and would listen to droning sounds to keep me in this like elevated, um, this, this sounds so douchey, but this elevated thing of like, all right, like we're here to make singles. Like this is who Miles is. Like he's the songwriter. And, um, you know, I only really did scenes with Ryan. So it was fun to then go in and, uh, you know, yeah, because because it came a little later, I had to set the preface, you know, I think Miles's name mentioned more than I'm in the film, right? So you're like, what legacy did this guy make? And why is this haunting him? And I'm like, all right, that comes through in the scenes. It comes with discipline. It comes with, like, perfection that is going to haunt these characters. And uh, I don't know, I had fun with it, man. Like, you know, acting's fun but like i was a musician for many years i've been in that boat and so i'm like all right let's uh let's drop into this attitude let's put that jacket on today and uh and go have fun 1996 so. is also such a great year because like twister came out that year you know yeah. <laughs> movie really just changed everything <laughs> oh, <great. laughs> uh ryan your character is uh the opposite really in terms of uh, you, you're just in the whole, you're the main focus of the film. Um, the horrors around your psyche. Uh, how much pressure was that knowing that the whole film really relied on you just nailing this part? I mean, I, uh, I didn't really think about it to be honest with you. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I, in all honesty, I don't 
think about that kind of thing. I just go in and try to do the work, you know, and just try to just try to do the character. I can't you can't really if you put that kind of pressure on yourself, you're never going to create anything great, I think. And, uh, you know, this was this was something that's close to home. You know, it's like Rob just dropped in because I don't know if you know this. He's an incredible drummer, great musician. And so, you know, it all, and so is almost every single character in the film. They're all great musicians. So we've all done this. We've all been in bands. Tim, Joe and I were in a band together for like, seven years in real life and charlie and tim were in a band together for like five or six years i think they still played together uh and so like we you know we've all done that and i think the the goal really was to just really make the band feel real like bands are sloppy they you know there's no like set tone there's a, they talk over each other they get mad they then they fall back in love and like it's it's a it's a sloppy you know love between these people and and i think that that was the goal for me is like if we can if we can create that which we've already done in real life tim and i've like you know wrote many songs together fought over them destroyed them brought them back together you know and uh and i think we've all done that with music and so yeah that was like i was like if we can nail that then then the rest is a cakewalk uh, you might have already answered this depending on how you feel about the filming, but what was the hardest part of filming for both of you, this movie in particular? Um, for me, I had very long days in, in, a, in a prosthetic. And like I said, I, I had just wrapped a, a project somewhere else in Europe and I, I, I was relatively clean shaved. So I, I had to like force, force this beard out to get this, this 90s look. And I'm like, I can't wait. I didn't know how they were doing prosthetics we talked briefly on makeup prior too and um so a lot of my overnight shots with ryan were in this prosthetic just hours in this prosthetic and i <laughs> it was fun because you have to you know you have to nail emotional beats and all the blah 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 that comes with acting but you're also like every time i smiled a beard hair would rip out and like something like it, it was just painful and there's one little hole to have a straw and hold and drink and look at Ryan and be like, I'm in so much pain. <laughs> and just like, it, it, you know what? It was it was difficult to the edge because I've never done it, but very fun because I'd look in the mirror and be like, ah, you know, like it, it just take you back. But uh, uh, yeah, that, that was that was my little thing a bit. Nothing nothing in the scenes got too difficult. They hit real. So I, I felt so bad for him. He really did. He was in that thing like for hours and hours and hours and couldn't talk and just had like. <laughs> again like yeah his little straw with his with his french energy drink uh <clears throat> which is rough i would say for me um there was a day that i had a prosthetics and i had my hand tied behind my back and uh Ooh. we were using a lot of fake blood well galen uh didn't uh spring for the expensive fake blood so <laughs> The, we go for the first take and like it's staining me, you know, and I'm like, we this is the first take. We got takes to go like and it's staining like my face, my, you know, and then everything. And I'm like, this guy, we can't use this blood. Like, look what it's doing. I, I, we don't even have a real makeup department. What are we? And uh, and, you know, Galen comes back and he pours some on himself and he's like, no, it's fine. Look, it's coming. It's fine. It's coming up. It's not coming off at all. Uh, <laughs> and, and so we had to, you know, luckily uh, Shakira, who's did some of the horror makeup or did all the horror makeup, had some other blood. Uh, but that that day, I think, was the first time I was like, all right, I just need to I need to walk around the castle a little bit and just breathe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Needless to say, when I met Ryan, I was being kind, but he was as red as a tomato the whole time I saw him. I, I didn't want to say anything. I came with my own blood. It's something that I, I do. <laughs> just... You thought it was eczema, it's just fake blood. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, the final question might be an obvious one. Probably already got this a ton. But would you rather be part of the best movie of all time that no one gets to see while you're alive? Or would you want to do a bad film that nets you a lot of dough at the box office? Well, we got this one. Yeah, we got this. <laughs> we got this one uh, earlier, but it was the direct. It was the music question, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, 
I would say probably on this one, the bad film at the box office, because, you know, with with the money you make off the bad film, you can produce a bunch of your own indie projects, I would say. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to I'm, I'm going to agree. Um, and also, I'm going to agree just because just because a film is bad doesn't mean the work that the actors put in is bad. So if you go in with the mentality of saying, I know what this is. I, I know that this could be like commercial garbage, whatever it is. It's not for me to judge. And if it's doing well, did I bring all I can to that and have fun and create connections like you do on whatever and be like, all right, now I have some money to go, you, you know, in this industry or any industry in arts, you try to create a tribe of people you want to grow with. And in that we've seen so many stars come out of it being like, that film was a little weird, but then they work with the same people 10 times over. And you're like, that's what I always look to achieve. It's like, whether it's good or bad, it's subjective. If it makes money at the box office, great. If no one sees it, then I'm guaranteed a nothing. So, you know what I mean? So I look at this, I'd rather create the nothing with the people taking off the commercial success of the other one and being like, all right, at least we tried, but we have this thing going. So that, that's that's kind of where I stand too. Awesome. Thank you so much for spending your time answering some questions about the movie Art of a Hit. It releases on August 20th, 2024, uh, which is sometime in the future from whenever this is posted. <laughs> <laughs> Great. See you then. <laughs>